Uh, I'm Dale Hanson, uh, Superintendent, Lammersville Unified School District, and welcome to the groundbreaking of Altamont School. Um, we have people coming from Sacramento and coming down from Reading, and there was an accident on 205, and they're going to be coming in, and they're a little late. We're going to jump up and introduce them and, and, and let them feel welcome here. Uh, kind of ruined my opening because... Uh, uh, I was going to talk to the people from Sacramento and Reading and tell them this is just a light spring day with a little breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mountain House. Some of them have never been out here, although they've been engineers and working on the project and everything. Um, so that blew the opening line. Uh, but thanks again for coming. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about a couple things. Wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that to come. It's okay. It's cool. now, most of the people who know me don't, won't see that. Ask my administrators. They wouldn't see that coming because <laughs> I am not a lighthearted person all the time and, and I have a mission. But the mission out here for the district was to provide the best education environment. And I think we're doing that. And Altamont is, is an example of that. And uh, it's been a tough go, but, but a, a, a re rewarding, satisfying accomplishment over the last five years. And I'll talk about some things that tick me off a little bit, so I'll get a little straight up. <laughs> Let, let's, let's go back five years. Unification. You can't unify that district. We were over at Tracy twice a month, and, and, and when I first came in, I remember uh, Jim Lamb and people saying, you know, we need a high school out here. It's going to solidify it. You know, Dale, you know, let's go over there, get the board over there, and we have people supporting it, and we get shot down. You can't do it. You can't make it. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know about curriculum. You don't know about the cost of a high school. And we're saying, yes, we do. Yes, we do. And, and we pulled off unification. And, and, and that started the whole process. And then the next thing was we, we, we had a glitch on this project. We all admit that. Uh, Cuesta. We need a Cuesta right away. Uh, we had the population there. We were looking at putting portables at Wickland. I'm talking to Lim and said, hey, where are we going to put these portables? You know, portables, that's not quality education. What we're about is providing a quality environment for the students out here. Bottom line, we always go back to that. And all the fights we have out here goes back to, and the board always brought me back. The board said, what about the kids? My principals would say, what about my staff and the kids? And, and, and so all the little issues and fights we may have always brought back to the students. And uh, then we went into Cuesta, 12 months. Uh, Lim did a fantastic job. I mean, it's like, get the furniture in there, let's go, you know, opening day. And, and, and we did that in 12 months. We were told there wasn't water capacity or whatever. I don't care. I don't care. We need a school. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. And, and the staff here has been amazing. We have a preschool opening out there. Does the district have to do a preschool? No. Does the district get financial support for a preschool? No. But it's our responsibility to start with those three or four-year-olds. It's our responsibility to do that. So now we have a preschool opening up in June. Then we get into uh, the high school. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm much better now. <laughs> we didn't have enough money for the high school. The state's delaying the funds. Yet we have a five-year plan because we unified to have students occupied there. So how do we, you know, I'm not a country western person or anything, but get it done, you know, uh, was a thing. And we found ways to do it. We found ways to bring the developer along. We found ways to put it together. And if you drive down Mascot, which will be Mustang Boulevard, whether you like it or not, <laughs> you can see that we're going to be ready for that. You can see that we're ready for it. I think some of the success of the community lies in a lot of different areas, but one of it is the, the, the education we provide out here. And it's our job to have a safe, clean environment so our principals can do their job and our teachers can do their job. That's our passion. It gets distracted a little bit but it needs to come back to the focus of what we're doing out here. Then we had um, th this project, which is a passion of mine, because uh, we weren't sure it was going to happen. We were told, you're not going to build this. There's not enough money. We found the money. We refinanced bonds. We uh, uh, found creative ways with the state to get every penny uh, that we can possible of state funding. Uh, and, and so this is often going, that's why I'm so passionate about this, because you tell me I can't do something and it's bad for kids, 
you're going to have a fight on your hands. And that, that's what we've been doing. So very rewarding, very successful school district, but there's a lot of team players here. And that's what we're about today, to thank the team players. It's not about me. We've got a, a, a board that we'll, be, we'll talk about in a minute. We have a community service district. We have a staff here. My staff, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be my staff because I, I'm, <laughs> I'm out there running around and they're covering. The principles of cover, the staff is covered. With that, <laughs> I'm going to have Matt Belzeri come up and talk about the board. And I'm going to get a water. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Um, on behalf of the Lambert Unified School District Board of uh, Trustees of Education, I, I'd like to welcome you here this morning. Uh, today we have David Pombo, a trustee here with me. And two other of our board members, uh, President Michaela Vergara and uh, Sharon Lempel, are both working today. They both work in education and uh, they're in school. So uh, they couldn't be here today, but please welcome them as well. Um, before I start, I'd like to quickly acknowledge Bob Corden. Uh, I appreciate you being here. He's making a video for us, and he did the same thing for the high school. Really appreciate it. Real involved in the community, and thank you for being here. Yeah, well, okay. um, I've lived here since 2004. I've been on. I was on the board from 2006 to 2008. I was on the community service district board for a couple of years, and I came back. Um, I've had the opportunity to attend the groundbreaking for Bethany for Cuesta, for the high school, and now here for Altamont Elementary. And um, I couldn't be more proud. I'm, I'm proud to live in this community, I'm proud of what this community is about. And um, if you look at the design of the community, all the schools are in the middle. The schools are the heart of this community. And um, I say the heart and soul of this community because we are what's driving uh, the growth in this community right now, the kids. I think the families come out, they see our schools, they see what we have going, they see our test scores, and which is something that we're all very proud of. And that's what makes the decision to move to Mountain House. And with that comes growth. And as I've always heard, especially uh, everyone's always said, growth is good. Um, this project in particular had many, many, many obstacles. Uh, Mr. Hansen put his blood, sweat, and literally tears into this project. <laughs> and um, he got up here and briefly mentioned some obstacles, but I, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many obstacles. Um, instrumental in making this happen was our design and architects, Nichols, Melbourne, and Rosetto. Uh, Turner Construction. And of course, Mr. Hansen and his staff. We had some obstacles in the beginning. There was definitely some financial issues, um, but Mr. Hansen's persistence and organization led the team and got things done. Um, I speak with him almost daily, and he'd tell me, oh, I'm jumping in the car, I'm driving up to Sacramento, I gotta get these plans into OPSC. Uh, uh, all these different agencies within California that oversee public school education, uh, financing. And, uh, yeah. Conversations with consultants, conversations with lawyers, conversations with the developers who all said, it's not going to happen, Dale. It's not going to happen. Come up with another plan. That's going to be an empty lot forever. And Dale said, no way. Not going to happen. So um, this project is, uh, is a result of Dale's hard work. And uh, I can't thank him enough. And on behalf of the board, Dale, thank you very, very much. We're going to miss you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. My name is Celeste Karen. I'm um, president of the Mountain House Community Services District Governing Board. Um, I, I'm glad that uh, I was. I didn't know that it had been moved because I had an opportunity to go out and get a little soil from the site with a, a little shovel. <laughs> I came prepared. Um, today I was, at, and as Dale mentioned it, I was recalling the pursuit of unification for our school district and for our community. I remember sitting with Dr. Franco, the superintendent of Tracy Unified School District, and 
uh, Jim Lamb, Caroline Davila, and myself met with uh, Dr. Franco, and I recall him telling us, be careful what you ask for. And that really stayed with me. Um, there was a strong will in this community and a strong, strong drive to uh, pursue unification. We wanted our high school. And um, that was the objective. Um, to be careful, I believe we really have been. Um, with the direction of the school board trustees and uh, the efforts of Mr. Hansen and his staff, they have been more than careful. They have been precise and have, have had dogged determination to grasp onto and hold tight to the will of this community, continuing to steadily march forward with the development of the growing district. And here at the dedication of our fifth school in Mountain House, at a groundbreaking ceremony, this is the earth from there. The earth that we have here for this dedication, physically and chemically, is no different from any other common dirt that we have seen in our entire lives. However, to us, I feel this, is, this has very special meaning. The land here, here represents tremendous efforts of a few driven by the will of many. Those efforts of the few have been great. We talk about obstacles and the obstacles that have been overcome to bring the will of many to fruition have been abundant. It took years to get to this groundbreaking dedication. However, this is not the end of a journey, but rather a welcome milestone to the beginning, which of course will be continued to be filled with complications and obstacles, I'm sure, um, that will be overcome by those same few, by the, the board of trustees with their, their new leadership as they direct their new leadership. Um, and to that I say, we have been fortunate to have the Board of Trustees that we've had with the school board and, um, and have had Mr. Hansen and your staff. We've been very fortunate. Um, um, with the, the obstacles that are coming our way, I would just like to say I, I feel very fortunate that um, we have the people in place to, to overcome the obstacles that, that are going to be coming our way. Um, before, uh, I, I forgot at the onset to introduce the rest of our, our board. I would like at this point to introduce the rest of the Mountain House Community Services District Governing Board, if you will stand, please. Um, we have Jim Lamb, Vice President. Steve Gutierrez, who is here. And I would just like to ask all the employees from the Mountain House Community Services District just to stand along with our new um, manager, Jan McClintock. Thank you. Before I take my seat, I would just like to ask the school board members to stand for a minute, and Mr. Hansen and your staff to please stand for a minute as we recognize you and thank you for your efforts that, uh, on these Herculean efforts. Um, on behalf of Mountain House, thank you very much. And Mr. Hansen, this soil is for you. All right. Thank you. Okay. The uh, efforts uh, by what I call teams. We have teams. We have our district team uh, that I've already talked about. But to, to, to have this success and to get where we are today, you have other teams. You have uh, an architect team. You have a contractor team. And, and we put those together out here. And I think it's a very, very strong team. I've built uh, schools in other districts and modernized and stuff. And I'm really, really pleased at, at what we're seeing in their district as a result. Uh, what we're seeing at the high school, the, the efforts they're making there, and uh, uh, Dan Rosetto of Nichols Milburn and Rosetto is going to speak and, and recognize his staff because we put a lot of pressure on them too. 
This is a, a staff that I can call and they have an office right across the Office of Public School Construction right across the freeway and they'll be running over there taking care of needs that, that, that we have there and, and I think it's a special organization. There's some of them who aren't here, we're kind of stalling until they got here, get past the wreck, but we'll recognize them if they come in later. So Dan Rosetto with Nichols Mill. Thanks, Dale. Um, quite often the board knows they see Wesley and myself at, at board meetings, but they don't get to see the people that they put together uh, and, and take long hours putting together all of the work that we present to the district. So we've invited some to come here, and I just want them to stand up as I mentioned their names, and uh, we'll recognize their, their serious efforts on behalf of the what you see today. Uh, we'll start with Amy Pavlovich. <laughs> Casey Hume. <laughs> Casey picks all these colors and, and works with Noel to make sure that it all looks like this. So when something goes wrong, we blame her. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Russell, who's worked very well. And Will Tyra, who worked uh, long and hard on this picture. John Corliss, structural engineer. And last but not least, of course, Wesley King, who uh, most people know here, and is the heavy lifter. If something needs to be done, Wesley's the guy that gets it done and makes sure that uh, Dale's supported 100% by all of our efforts. So. There's one more person, I think, coming, Steve Merck. If you see a fellow in a suit run through that door, you'll know. <laughs> He's the project architect for uh, Altamont School. And uh, as Dale said, Steve, in our Sacramento office, does a lot of uh, last minute running around to make sure that we've got every state agency satisfied to get the funding and the building approvals that we need. Uh, just in closing, I wanted to make sure everyone knows uh, especially the district, of the deep appreciation we have for being able to work here and help with these projects. It, it is a special place and we recognize that and we want to maintain what you've started here uh, as far as excellence, excellence in education. So thank you very much. Well, we can't get it done without a contractor, and uh, uh, we have hired uh, uh, Turner uh, Construction uh, out of Sacramento, and I see Barry Owens back there, and I don't see Harry. Harry's, Harry's under the leather No excuses, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, I know we want to recognize your staff, and uh, would you like to do it? I, our superintendent who's out on the job site this morning holding down the fort, so to speak, or quite literally a whole gun of tent. Uh, it's Daryl Graff. Daryl and I have worked on school projects up and down the valley floor, and uh, he was really excited to be part of this project. And he's over at the site today, and uh, our project engineer finally got through uh, the concrete truck wreck on 205 is Charlie Kerr. And uh, Charlie and I will be living in this community for the next year. And, and uh, if there's anything you need or have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you. I don't know if I should publicize this or not, but Turner's the type of company that's worried about the neighbors out there. And Barry's been going around handing out car wash tickets. <laughs> I think it's a great effort. I, now they're going to line up at the trailer over there wanting their car wash. But, but uh, that, that's the kind of company they are. That's how they, the, the first conversation was, how do we not impact the residents because we're putting this right in the middle of a 900 homes or something like that. And, and so those are the conversations we have with Turner and getting this built. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like he's new anymore, but uh, Bob Elliott is the San Joaquin uh, County Supervisor who has made it out here today, which I really appreciate coming out representing the community. Doesn't feel like a new supervisor yet. Do you still feel like it's new or they're keeping you busy? Well, they're definitely keeping me busy. There you go. But uh, I've been a supervisor for four months now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you very much.
much, uh, Dale, and uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real pleasure for me to be able to uh, participate in a ceremony that marks another milestone in the development of Mountain House as a community. The pictures here are certainly beautiful. Uh, it looks like it will be a great school. And not just for the record, I did stop at the actual site this morning, saw the tent, uh, but no people, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm glad I was able to link up with the actual ceremony here. Um, but uh, I was here as well for the groundbreaking of the high school, uh, and I thought that was a great day for Mountain House. And here we are, the fifth school location being, uh, uh, we're celebrating the groundbreaking for that here today, so another great milestone. Uh, it's just great to be able to be uh, a part of, of the growth of Mountain House. So to commemorate that uh, occasion, uh, I'd like to present this uh, certificate of recognition from the Board of Supervisors, uh, presented to the Lambertsville Unified School District, Altamont Elementary School, in recognition of your groundbreaking ceremony. Uh, for the future Altamont Elementary School in the Mountain House community. Congratulations. I was also going to give a district welcome uh, to our, uh, uh, our new general manager, and uh, Jan Clintock back there. Welcome uh, to the community. We've had one meeting, uh, but uh, uh, very excited about having you on board here. Uh, we also have a representative from uh, Assemblymember uh, Eggman's office, and I had a chance to spend some time. Uh, she came down to our district. We had a chance to tour it. Uh, she wasn't able to be here today, and I think there's a representative here. There you are. Okay, thank you. Come on up. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joel Reyna. I'm happy to be here on behalf of uh, uh, Assemblymember Susan Eggman. Uh, as an educator herself, she sends her heartfelt congratulations. Uh, she's seen uh, the area touring earlier, uh, but she's stuck in Sacramento. It's uh, crunch time for legislation, and I myself was stuck behind the, uh, the, the truck accident there on 205. Um, but we're very happy to be here. We're very happy to lend our support, and uh, congratulations to everyone for their hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Another assembly member, uh, Joan Buchanan, is also stuck in Sacramento. She doesn't represent this area, but when I first came in here, she was our, our assembly member represent, representative. Uh, amazing job supporting the school district. She stood in front of the state allocation board uh, when we were trying to reclaim uh, the money for Altima and represented the district. She is now on the, the uh, 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 state allocation board as a member, uh, but I, I'll never forget her standing up there and saying, the district made an error. You have taken four and a half million dollars from the district, and you need to reinstate that. And for coming from an assembly member versus my conversation, it was powerful. That that four and a half million dollars turned into eight point seven million dollars redoing the application and some bumps on it, and that's why this project's still going. So uh, I will uh, uh, definitely always be uh, uh, in the district uh, uh, grateful for uh, assembly member Buchanan for making that happen. Now, normally at this time of this presentation, we walk over to the site by the equipment and have shovels and hard hats on and everything, throw dirt up. You wouldn't want to throw dirt up in the air right now. Uh, but but uh, we're going to look at the drawings. If you have any, any questions for the architects or anything, uh, they're going to be around for a while. But in a few minutes, we're going to head over to the site and do the uh, ceremonial uh, shovel. You're welcome to come out there, but uh, uh, breaking of the ground and everything. And I think we're going to leave in about... 10 minutes and we're going to go over to the site and have some pictures taken there. Photo op, I guess they call it. So thank you for coming and uh, uh, it's a great community. Thank you very much. <laughs> 